Hey, what's popping? Uh, you already know, man. We're gonna get straight to it, man. Mr. J Hill, it's a conversation series. Uh, Shams is in the building. What up, dog? What it do, Jay? Hey, bro, you came you, you came from the, the A to do this. All the way from the A. With hey, the I a. told y'all, y'all could have just sent me to the A. I would have loved to come, you know what I'm saying, to do the interview in the Shit, A, but I fuck mean, it, why not? We're here. here, though. What's good, dog? Hey, it's a um, it's a pleasure to be with you right now, right? Man, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. No, nah, already, man. I thank you for coming. Uh, Yo, I, I was asking, I was asking you a couple questions off of, off of camera, and one of them things, what one of the questions were, I feel like, or do you feel like you skip some stuff because I feel like you just started this music thing. I mean, to be honest with you, yeah. I mean, I feel like I did skip a few steps, but I know it's still some steps I gotta take. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Maybe I gotta go back and take those steps, but I feel like um, just coming into the game, man, a couple months in, mm. I feel like yeah, I skipped a lot of steps. You know what I'm saying? Yo, all right. So before we talk about the steps, right? Let's 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 get the audience familiar with who you are, what yeah. you do. Um, music artist. What type of music would you say you make? It's complicated. I would say, man, I'm just making a lot of music to cater to different people, different audience. You know what I'm saying different audience. You know what I'm saying? I'm unique myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I want to tap into different kind of realms of different kind of. You know what I'm saying? Around the industry, not just. You know what I'm saying? Being super trad. You know what I'm saying? Super love. You know what I'm saying? I like the, I like the versatility. This, that versatility. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just, it's just different. Right. You know what do I'm you saying? think you're um at this moment? Do you think you're looking for your sound, or where would you say you at with your your music artistry? Right now, yeah. Um, I'm still playing with my sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we right there. We not we not far off, you but know you know saying? you know what direction you yeah, want to go. I know what direction I want to go for. You know what I'm saying? So really, I'm for the bitches. I love. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. want to cater to them the most. For the woman, want, then if you want, if you yeah, love the, you yeah, gotta call them yeah. woman. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I know women, we having this conversation, women. but they are gonna look yeah. at it like, wait, what? Yeah. You know, for the woman. <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry for the women. You know, for the women, I'm definitely for them. I want to cater to them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So we're gonna go, but but you still like to. You still like to rap and get yeah. Ready. I like to tap. I like to tap into the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like I do. I do like a lot of my songs got a lot of pain in it. You know mm. what I'm saying? I like to tap in. You know to different things that people got going on in their life and stuff like that, and it's things that I went through and things that my friends that went through. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I speak on those things. But for you know the most part, we're doing it for the ladies. right? Yeah, for the most part, we're doing it for. What the ladies. What makes you want to go in that direction? Because of course, coming from Baltimore, you could have went any direction you wanted. Honestly. Exactly. Um. Let's just say growing up, I was a ladies' man to mm. the core. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's 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 second nature. It's easy. It's, it's easy for me to talk about it. You know what right. I'm saying? Growing up, I was the man. You know what I'm saying? Playing sports and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And ladies came with that. Right. So it's just like, growing up, they were like, yeah, you're casting over. You're casting over. Mm -hmm. da, da. So it's like, I'm just going to run with that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Do you think that, do you ever think, and not to get too personal, but do you ever think that will get in the way of like, just where you are as a man and when it comes to settling and down with one lady or anything like that? If anything, it's going it's, it's, it's to bring plenty of different options my way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, 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 if anything, you know what I'm saying? I, I be able to pick through them, you right. know what I'm saying? Because I have a, a better you know variety of different kind of women across the world. Right. So I asked you, um, do you think you were skipping a lot of steps? You said, yeah, right. We talk about the type of music you, you, you like to do. That's catering to the ladies and it makes sense and then you say like you know if anything it'll bring a lot of options which makes sense but at the same time we can't ignore the fact that you are you're doing this you're doing it well and you're getting a lot of publicity and you're doing a lot of things before a lot of people that just started right having said that you do you ever worry about which lady wants you for who you are instead of which lady just wants you for what you come with i mean yeah, I mean, I, I think any guy is going to worry like that. But I mean, not any guy, because every guy not doing what you doing, we doing, and I mean, a lot of per, per, be personally, certain. be honest with you, like, and I, I'm gonna say this in like the most humblest way possible. I'm coming in the game with my own money, right? You know what I'm saying. So, and I live in the A, right? So I face that every day. You see what I'm saying? Rap or not, rap or not, yeah. I'm living my lifestyle. Facts is is crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm, my jewelry, my cars, my home. You know what I'm saying. So it's just like the rap, me rapping, me making music and catering to the females. It's like this is already in my nature. Right. You know what I'm saying. So 
them coming my way, I'm already gonna be able to depict it. You know what I'm saying? I'm around the, some of the baddest females in, in Georgia. Regardless, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it just be what it is. Yo, so much to, to, to talk about and to unpack, bro, because, you know, you said you're just coming in the game with, with your own money, and that's definitely important. Do you feel like you were kind to, do you feel like rapping was kind of like the, the last resort? And when I when I say that, like, I already got the lifestyle. I'm already lit. I might as well be a rapper. See, I'm going to take you back just a little bit. I used to play ball, right? Mm-hmm. Basketball. I used to play basketball. So I ended up getting a heart condition. I was going to go overseas and play ball. Mm. So when I caught my heart condition, I'm like, damn, what I'm going to do? Right. Right? So typical dude from Baltimore, we right. get back in the streets. Yeah. Right? So I get back in the streets, I run some money up, right? So I'm like, damn, but do I want to do this forever? You know what I'm saying? When you you might get that classy chick that come around, mm-hmm. right? And she like, mm-mm, I don't want no drug dealer. I don't want this right, kind yep. of dude on scam or whatever you might be and doing, that's, right? And that's, that's how they are now. Like, so, they know they don't want that. Exactly. So I'm like, what's next? What I'm going to do, right? So, you know, it started with me freestyling, playing, just playing all the time, rapping. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy's like, bro, you nice. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you need to rap outside of you being nice. He's like, yo, people putting out bullshit music. You feel what I'm saying? You already got the lifestyle that these dudes want to live. You already got that image. Yo, mm-hmm. start rapping. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's how I got here. Just listen to my homeboys telling me to rap. So it was almost like you were kind of like pushed into it. Yeah, I was I was definitely pushed, pushed into it because this wasn't it for me. This wasn't what I wanted to do, rapping. Wasn't it? It's crazy because I, I'm pretty sure you heard the saying like they say a lot of ball players will, will always want to rap. Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess we just never take them serious. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about that now being on the other side? It's a lot of talented ball players. It is it's, like it's, Iman Shepard is is nice. Yeah. Yeah. He tough. He tough. Yeah. It's really it's niggas it's, that's really good yeah, out here. Nah. He tough. And, and, and when you look at a guy like that, right? Yeah. You look at a guy like that. He's for the ladies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, like nigga, put your fucking but, shirt on. But, it. but yeah, but then he, <laughs> but then he also he also could talk that shit. He can. You feel what I'm he saying? Can. So it's just like, you know, I be feeling him when he be talking. You can be slick with the words, but still be for the ladies, right? Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's I feel like that's not what the game missing, but the game really need more of those type of guys because a lot of niggas that's Definitely. that's making late music for the ladies, they can't really switch it up and be slick with the words Definitely. and the lyrics like that. Definitely. So I that's definitely think. Yeah. Do you did you look at the game before and say like I think this is what the game is missing, or it's just like you said, nah, that's lifestyle. To be honest with you, I just wanted to be myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? More mm-hmm. than anything, I just want to come in and talk how I talk, act how I act, walk how I walk. You know what I'm saying? And just give the game that 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 flame, just, right? You know what I'm saying? That just all that that authenticity that is just missing. Hit the ground you know running for real. Yeah, so I want to, you know, you definitely hit the ground running. Yeah. Yo, um, how how long ago was it when you uh got can you 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 got the heart condition? You found out that you had a heart condition. Man, it's been right now. It's probably been about about eight years. Oh, so it's been a, a long time. Yeah, so yeah. like, I'm you got, twenty. I'm twenty nine now. Okay, that shit. It happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. I was like 20, 22. Okay. How long did it take you to get over basketball? Because, you know, something like that, it wasn't expected. And especially if you got a promising career and that happens out of nowhere. It's like, yo, I can't even ball. That's like a lot of people's dream. You know, I'm pretty sure that was your dream at one time. See, my story a little different. So it's like when I caught the heart condition, my, my father was like, he was like, yo, you got a son, right? Mm. He was like, you got a son. He was like, um, you gotta live, you can't, you're not living for yourself no more. At you know 22. Yeah, he's like, you're not living for yourself. You got a son, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make this decision. Mm. You know, you wanna be one of them guys that be in the newspaper, you know what I'm saying? Another athlete fall out, mm. you know what I'm saying? Pass away on the court, or you're gonna be here to raise your child. You know what I'm saying? I took the route of raising my child. Damn. But it's, it, it's, it's complex because it's like, see, what people don't know is, well, some a lot of people do know, but the viewers, which is about to learn now, I lost my son. Right? So back at that time, it was just like, it was like, okay, I'm gonna go overseas, hoop, and go get some money. It's all about the money at the end of the day, right? To be able to provide. So I'm like, damn, but my son passed away a few years after that. I'm like, damn, if I, you know what I'm saying? If I would've yeah. went, if I would've took that, you know what I'm saying? Took that chance to go over there and hoop and make the money, 
You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be where he was at the time when he passed away. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it just it just be crazy. It's like it's like a catch twenty two almost. Yeah. It's like damn. Like what's going on? Like what's just like? How does that as a pops confused. though, man? How did that make you feel? Because I know we a lot of times we associate with uh, children deaths to their moms because that's definitely hard for for mothers, um, especially when they're single and they're taking care of a child by themselves. But as a pops, and you you made a, a hard decision or an important decision in your career for the benefit of your child, so they so he still will have you. How did that make you feel when when you found out he passed? Man, I'm talking about my world came crashing down. Damn. I mean, it was like my son. My son was a highlight of the family. You right. know what I'm saying? Like when he come around, we come around anybody. You know what I'm saying? He stand out not because he loud or nothing like that. It's just his personality, his charisma. You know what I'm saying? He was spitting image of me. Like when people have kids, you know what I'm saying? It's, it it be tough for anyone to lose them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No matter the age, it's it's a real tough thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of people could. So a lot of people could understand, and a lot of people just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. If they don't have kids. How would you um like what message would you give the the and we because we can, I'm sorry to get so deep and yeah, emotionally involved, but we like I I feel like a part of yeah. A part of who you like the music you put out is who you are, right? A lot of times exactly. people buy into who you are. That's why I ask these questions. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to know what would what would the message be that you would tell to these guys, these deadbeats out here that have kids and that's not stepping up in it in their in their See, child's life. And 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 I want to say this. I want to say this. I don't feel I don't feel a way. You know what I'm saying? When people getting deep into this, because this is this is what this is who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I want to share this with the world. This a this is part of me. I want people to understand as well. So, the message that I get to people. You know what I'm saying? Men, particularly the, the, that's not particularly stepping up. Men yeah. that's not stepping up, not taking care of their kids. Some have reasons for why they're not, which is unacceptable. But for the most part, is it's all about time, mm. spending the time with your kids. It's all about see me. I was young at the time, mm. so I'm thinking money. I need money. I need money. I need money. And, and his mom always say it's not the money. It's the time. It's all about the time. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's an hour, you know what I'm saying? Go get your kid. Go spend that time. That's all they need. That's all they care about. Mm. The kids never understand the money till they get older. It's crazy that you say that because like, um, you know. I have a stepchild, right? Mm. And like I've been we, been in her life for like three years now, and I, I I I myself, and I'm older than 22. I'm 29, like you, and I still to this day think like, man, I gotta get the money because I gotta provide for my family. Yeah. And then even like you sit down as a another 29 year old, like, nah, it's not about the money. Nah. As much as we make it about the money, I think that's a selfish act. It could Honestly, be, we it we could think. Be just- it's yeah. really for us. It ain't yeah. for, we always say I'm doing it for y'all. We're not. Yeah. Honestly. It could be just a little time sitting on the porch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about looking at ants. Mm. Look at that little ant right there coming right. up with a story just playing. You know what I'm saying? And they love that. They enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? They don't, these, these are moments and times that they never forget. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a daughter now. She's three. And when we just do little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It means it the just, world. It means the world. You know what I'm saying? She, she don't understand yet. So like when I, when I come in the house or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, come here. You know what I'm saying? Give, give daddy a hug. Give daddy a kiss. You know what I'm saying? She she might be watching cartoons or something. She's like, no, daddy, I'm going to go back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I know, you know, all that little stuff count. And I it just does. have her turn that off and spend a little time with her. What you learned today? Mm. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? You read, you read a book? What's what? You know what I'm saying? You check on the dogs? You know what I'm saying? Just anything. Just picking her brain, just talking to her, just kicking it with her. She don't understand, you know, she, she'll get it later. That's crazy, bro, because time is definitely of, of the eff- essence, right? And time is important in so many aspects of life, right? And even yeah. with your career, we can transition of the time that you got to put into going to the studio, the time that you got to put into studying and looking at other artists. How much time do you think you put in to making your music and your craft now? Man, like my boys are coming, like my, right, right now, my voice is raspy now. Because mm. I've been up all night. I was mm. in the studio all night. I got an in-home studio. You know what I'm saying? I invested in, in uh, putting some stuff in my home. So I've been up every single day. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking 60 days straight. Mm. Just every single day making music and trying to make a song, two songs a day. So I understand that it's, it's a lot of time you got to put in. You know what I'm saying? Especially trying to find my sound. Mm. Especially trying to come up with the words of different mm-hmm. songs. And, and then cutting other people's music out, not listening to music no more. I know just that's hard, to yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying? I might have somebody come over and listen to the song and they like, 
But then somebody come over and they like, yeah. yo, this the one. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got to really, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Playing basketball, playing sports. I like to convert everything I'm doing in life with, with like, with like, you know what I'm saying? Playing sports, right. or playing basketball. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might think your shot wet, you know what I'm saying? And he might think it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's like your form ugly, but the coach telling you, you know what I'm saying? You got a nice hot arc shot, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, you just got to do you. So, and it's crazy though, because it's so hard for people to, to do them because they got so many voices around them, yeah. right? And I want to, we're talking about discernment basically. And how do you choose who to listen to? Because like you said, you might have somebody come over and say, yo, this ain't it. And then you might have somebody else come over to say, yo, this is it. How do you, how do you differentiate who is saying that because they just want to be dick riders and they just want to be a yes man versus people who saying it out of love and they really mean it and they want you to do better and shit how do you even choose it so i know there's a lot of questions but like how do you one differentiate who is who all right bet he's saying it's because he really liked me versus he's saying it because he just want to be in the room with me and then once you decide who to, who to listen to or who is who how do you decide who to listen to it's funny you ask that because that's a lot of stuff that's going on right now. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when I look at my when I look at myself in the mirror, I just I decide, you gotta make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm looking at myself. It's just me. It's just it's just me. Mm. It's my money I invested in this. If I want to scream on the mic all day, I'm gonna scream on the mic all day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though somebody might be in my best interest, like bro, you screaming, you sound dumb as hell. Like nah, don't be screaming. Like you know what I'm saying? But it's just like. You have to really, really know yourself. You know what I'm saying? It starts with then. But at the end of the day, there's only one person that has that say so, which is God. You know mm, what I'm saying? So it's just like when you when you, when you take that time out, you know, out of your day to pray and stuff like that, God He'll bless you. He'll give you the words. He'll give you the sound. He'll give you the voice. Because mm. if it's for you, it's for you. That's a you fact. know what I'm saying? So that's just that's just where I'm at with it. Like, you know what I mean? But I, I love the criticism. I love when my friends is is you know what I'm saying? Telling me what's what, and you know, it's I, I'm with it. I'm all for it. It's dope that you like you're you're coming in the game where you at because like you already it seems like you already learned these things coming out through life period. Yeah, right. And it's like you gotta life, like listen. a lot of mistakes that people will make in the game. You probably already made in life, so definitely. you don't have to make it in the game. If that makes definitely, sense. definitely, definitely. And that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, how um you from Baltimore, bro? What what part of Baltimore are you from? I'm, I was born and raised in the county, mm. Hoffa County, to be exact. My family's from East Baltimore. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we back and forth. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's 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 why. What made you move to the A? I mean, I got into a little trouble. You know what I'm saying? In, in Baltimore a few years back. Um, so that that I had to, I had to go. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's just like what was, happened? Got into a little altercation. You know what I'm saying? Downtown is. Really don't want to speak on it. No right, don't you know speak, what I'm don't speak but, on it, dog. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, shit got a little crazy. And um, so, yeah, I had to make that move and try to better myself from there. So, I'm trying to so I'm trying to um, add the timelines up because you were saying, you know, you was playing ball. Um, you found out you had a heart condition. Mm -hmm. You was like, yo, I'm not even going to continue because your pop said you're living for more than yourself. You got a son. Um then you said you like got back in the streets. Got back in the streets. Yeah, we still in Baltimore at this time. Yeah, when I got back in the streets, boom. So when you moved to the A, you was already like up, I guess. Nah, <laughs> that's what I'm trying. Nah. I'm trying to understand when how you, did this happen? When you get when you get back when you when you when you get in the streets when you get in the streets, that don't mean you up. Okay, you know talk saying? to me about that. So you know, get back in the streets. I'm being able to provide for myself. Being able to provide buy Pampers. I'm young, right? So I'm doing those little things, sending a little money. You know what I'm saying? My son lives in Colorado. So when I get back in the streets, I get myself in trouble, mm. right? I was playing ball. I'm away from my friends. But when I get back in the streets, I'm hanging out, doing what I do, getting in trouble. I leave, right? So now I'm low key. When I when I go to the, when I go to the A, I'm low key. Nobody know me. There's a lot of African American, African American yeah. young men. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And women out there. So I'm fitting in. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm low key. I'm trying to figure it out, right? But then when I moved to the A, it was just too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they lifestyle down there was just a little different. Like, like out here, 
Honda, you cool. Yeah, Honda, you know what cool, saying? you good. Out, the tents, you good. Yeah, when I, when, I, when I went out there, it's Camaros, Tenet. It's the, black, it's the black LA. Like yeah. The, yeah, so around that time, that's when the Camaros was popping and black all that. Black Hollywood. Yeah, so I'm like, I see somebody my age, 21. I'm like, I'm like, yo, how old is you? 21. I'm like, 21? What you do? Yeah. Like, like I'm like, so I'm like, damn, nah, like, this ain't it. Like, I need to go back to the hood. Like, I need to go back to where, 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 we, where we could be in an Acura, right. a Honda, you know what I'm saying? Infinity, like, yeah, shit cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, so then when I'm out there, I'm like, damn, I got to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas can't hustle better than me. These niggas ain't, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, once I start getting the, getting the handle of it, start figuring out, boom, that's when I start running my bands up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't run my bands up too crazy home. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'd we, we, I'm trying to find a story about how you can run your bands up because I might need the answer so I can come to the A and run my shit up. Because like, what the fuck was I'm going saying, on? Listen, you know, the, 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 the game, the game is to be sold, sold not, not told. told. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Well, so I knew you were going to come with me. Yeah, so come on, man. So, but now, how much, now, how much, how much, how much you got to sell it for? Because I might, I might got the right price for you. I'm saying, we, 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 we started. You can talk we off. Start, yeah, we started, <laughs> we started at like 10 bands. 10 bands Just to like, teach me the game. I'm saying, it's a million dollars worth of game. Okay, okay. Bands, a million dollars for game. It's funny because my man told me like, yo, we gonna say what he do. He was like, yo, um, he had to sit in the room, pay a nigga five thousand dollars. Nah, I'm telling just you, to bro. learn. Nah, I'm telling you, yeah. Damn. I was sitting at a bar with a guy, right? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I, 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 I do the credit thing too, right? Mm -hmm. I got a credit company, so yeah, we got was, a credit company. We yeah, gotta say thank yeah, you. I'm yeah, glad got, you said yeah, that. I got a credit company, <laughs> yeah. so nobody won't oh, take nah. this. No, nah, I got a credit company. I'm legit. Everything okay, legit. okay. You look into me. Everything legit. Got it. So I got a credit company. I'm sitting at the bar with a guy, and I'm um, over here. I'm talking about credit and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't help but to jump in. Yeah. I'm like, so you do the credit? Da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? He like, yeah. He like, um. He like, yo, give me a hundred dollars. I swear to God, I don't know this guy. He like, give me a hundred dollars. I'm like, for what? He like, <laughs> he like, he like. I'm, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to get that off your credit, mm. right? But mind you, I never disclose that I do credit. Right. You feel me? But I just jumped into it. I just jumped into the conversation. Right. So I'm like, what am I getting this nigga hundred dollars for? Right then I'm like, you know what? Let me give him a hundred dollars. Give him a hundred dollars. When? Yo gave me an answer I already knew. But the respect was there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then we connected and boom. Then, then we put other things together. I'm glad you spoke that speaking of that and getting back to the music. I know we in and out, right? So it's crazy because a lot of artists don't understand the importance of investing in themselves, bro. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? Like, how how did you find out that it was so important to invest in yourself? Because a lot of niggas they get lit and they like, man, I'm not paying for this. Right? Like that's that's we see that from a lot of artists, right? But you see like people like yourself and you got other artists like, I'm gonna invest in myself. You got the studio in your house, right? Yeah. Like what made you wanna take that route and and and, and what made, what made you know, like at this point, I know I got to invest in myself to get where I need to be? I mean, I'm self-made, right. right? So it's just like, my mentality is like, I could do it, right? Right. If somebody can't do it for me, like, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to learn. It. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So first of all, that got to be a mentality that, that you got to have too. You got to have that, you got to have that in you. Yeah. You got to have that job. You got to yeah. have that will. A lot of niggas don't you know got the coaching, bro. They, they just, yeah. they just, That's some people like, they, they kind of get comfortable and they want somebody to do it for them and they want the assistance. They want the help. Mm -hmm. Nah, we don't want no handouts. We want no help. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to tell you, yo, pull up. Yeah. Right. When you pull up, dang, you got everything in here. Oh shit, yeah. I'm making it that easy for you. That easy. You feel what I'm saying? Then you like, oh, yo, like, we all vibe. Like, yeah, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, in home studios is just shit right now. It's crazy that you say that, bro, because like I too do something similar. Like I literally bought all my equipment. You know what I'm saying? I bought the mics, the cameras, just so like I can make it easy on my cameraman. So yeah. I can easy make it easy. When you provide on my the audio vibe, it, that shit just hit exactly. different. When you provide the vibe, it hit different. But you know question though, having a studio in your home, do you think oh, it's hard? Wow. Do, do you think it's hard sometimes to get the right sound? Because I know a lot of times I, I've heard artists say, yo, sometimes you got to be in a studio, not in your home, like in an actual studio with a producer and everything and vibing out to be in that, that situation to make good music. Like, do you feel like you miss on that sometimes? Nah. No? Like, to be honest with you, somebody might hear my songs and be like, he did that in the studio. They think mm. I did it in the studio. You know so what that's saying? just that's just so put. it's like like I got a perfect unit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Where I stay, I stay in the condo. You know what I'm saying? 
High floor, high level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you don't got to come on here on stunt, man. You don't got to stunt nah, with me, nah, dog. Nah, nah, nah. Real talk. So it's <laughs> just like, with you. so the way they build them, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was getting to. The way they build them, they build them with the metal now. You oh. feel what I'm saying? So I live in one okay. of the, you know what I'm saying? So spot, you can right? have your shit loud yeah, as so, you want. So the sound, so the okay. sound is straight. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So it's like, yeah. So. That's fire. Yeah. Nah, hey, dog. Hey, I definitely appreciate you for taking this time to come all the way up this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, just to have a sit down nah, with me. This home, um, so, you know of what I'm course. saying, it, it ain't nothing. What are you working on now that we can be aware of and look forward to? Man, I got some, I got a couple dope songs, man. I got a song, uh, Ghetto Story, mm. you know what I'm saying, that's featured with Seti Hendrix, Damn. you know what I'm saying, he dope right now, he hot, um, that's DJ Drama's artist, um, shit, man, I just did a song with Jug, you know okay. what I'm saying? Band Hunter Jug? Yes, Band Hunter Jug. Okay. Yeah. So that joint hot. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a couple singles that I'm going to drop. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. You talk about got, investing, investments a lot, man. Are you um putting some of them investments into features? Do you think that's important right now in your stage or nah? Uh, a few of them. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like. A Who are few, some of the people you had to pay for for a feature? Who are some of the people I paid? Yeah, for a feature. Um. I don't want to disclose that. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to disclose that. But uh I mean that ain't like a not, felony. Not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? But somebody somebody might watch this and be like, damn, you ain't yo new, you you charge yo, you ain't charge yo. You, uh, okay. you, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just like yeah, yeah. so I want to keep I want, I want to keep it everybody. I want to keep it kosher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got it, I got we, it. As an artist, we all respecting each other's craft sense. and that you know what I'm saying? If it's five dollars, ten 10, you know what I'm saying, 15, or whatever it is, or if it's off the love, off the vibe, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, That's, that you know, but, but anybody I do a feature with, I'm going to say this, it's genuine. Mm. It's a vibe. It's a connection. We didn't smoke. You know what I'm saying? We didn't look through the phone. <laughs> oh, you got hurt too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go hoop. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. What you eat. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's a vibe. Yo, good. Yo, in the morning time, yo, what's up? I was fucked up last night, yo. Oh my god, yo. Right. Was that? You know what I'm saying? So like anybody I do a feature with, if if it don't come with the vibes, you know what I'm saying? The real shit, the genuine, I don't want that fake shit. Facts. Straight up. In Baltimore, you don't even we don't get down like that, period. We don't even trust motherfuckers anyway. True. So it's like it's like it's not gonna be beneficial to me. Like I'ma smell it from a mile away. Like I don't want it. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we talked about the music, man. I think it's time for us to like demonstrate and see. Do this live performance for real, man. Oh, yeah. Let's, Let's get it pop, man. Yo, vibes. Shams, Mr. J Hill uh, Conversation Series. Dope, dope, dope artist, man. Make sure y'all check him out. Um, let him know your Instagram and shit. My name is, first of all, let me tell you, my name is Sham Sudin. Sham Sudin, a Muslim. Mm. Right, that's a Muslim. You all can look, y'all can look up the name. It's Arabic. So it's my spelled, apologies. Yeah. My apologies, good. dog. It's spelled S H A M S dot S U D D E N. So you go by that full name. So I should nah, you, you nah, st- nah. I'm okay, I was like, making sure because I ain't like gonna... when people when people say shams, they know they like oh shams. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's that's Arabic or from somewhere else. They know. You know. What so I'm saying? good. I can nah. I'm... Sham, I go by shams. Right, I'm just making sure because I everybody ain't be know me as shams. All right, yeah. cool, cool, cool. All right, yeah. all right, all right. So uh, man, make sure y'all follow him. Everybody get this live performance popping. And um, that's it. Did we miss anything? Did we? Did we? Did you want to touch on anything we ain't talk about? Um. Yeah, yeah, I actually do. I actually do. So when you spoke on investing, mm. the investment is bigger than just investing in yourself with the music. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of guys trying to tap in with different investments and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? This is for the young dudes that's watching this. I want to give you a little bit of game. This like game said, is free, so pay attention. Yeah, this game is Because you usually got to pay for this shit. You normally got to pay for it. <laughs> so right now I got my credit company. Got my auto broker. I just sold my restaurant in, 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 in Georgia. Youngest black African American male to own a restaurant restaurant in Georgia. Um <clears throat> owning property. I got a dog kennel. You know what I'm saying? These are little things that young men could do. You know what I'm saying? This took little money. You know what I'm saying? But it brings in a lot of money. But you got to apply yourself. If you don't apply yourself, if you're not YouTube and opening up a book, you know what I'm saying, asking somebody that's in it, shaking hands and getting in, in, and stepping outside of your comfort zone, you won't be able to have these things. But 
every young black African American man can have these things by applying these. So mm. I wasn't the smartest. I ain't have the best grades. You know what I'm saying? It just comes from having that will and having that drive and wanting to do better. You know what I'm saying? And stepping home, step, get get uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? To get comfortable. That makes sense. No, nah, that makes you know a lot Free of sense. Free game. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I ain't gonna tell you, but he gonna tell you, you gotta got a credit card company. You gotta get your motherfucking credit up. Nah, for sure. So you get your credit up, you might not, you don't, you don't need all this money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got I got some hot cars. I paid no money down for these so cars. So you can help with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can come to you for some services? Like they, yeah, they, no, 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 it's definitely. Side of my DM. <laughs> Shout out to Bandman, Kevin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on the same wavelength. I did what you doing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, um, you got any credit questions and stuff like that or whatever, anything. You know what I'm saying? If you're going through a situation or anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for the people. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm down to, you know what I'm saying? Speak to anyone, any race, any flavor, anything you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, damn me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me on Instagram one more time. It's, it's Sham Sudin. S H A M S dot S U D D E N. Hey, man. Great conversation, man. Yeah, Again. For sure. Great talking to you, dog. Let's get this performance out the way. All right. All righty. Mr. J Hill Shams, we out.